Okay, so now we're going to descend from Klingman's Dome here. Really good visibility up here. Amazing views of the mountains. I guess this is probably North Carolina over here. Mm-hmm. Because over there is Gatsby. Yeah. Might be Tennessee though. Cherokee is that way. Cherokee is over there. Mm -hmm. Uh, North Carolina, mm -hmm. right south. Oh, okay. Maybe Asheville's over there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can see the ramp here. But you can see it's not too hard of a trail. It's a little bit uphill, so, but uh, it's paved, so a lot of people can access this point. See, there's the dome up there. I didn't mind the trail when it was raining. It was a little bit cold, but raining and snowing. <laughs> Allie's behind me. All right, you're coming with me, right, Allie? You're coming with me on the little side cut, aren't you? <sighs> this one right here is good. I wonder if we can make it down to the um, parking lot from here. So Appalachian Trail and Mountains to Sea Trail. I don't think I went this way the other day. Oh, yes, I did. Yes. There was a puddle over there. That'd be a good place to see bear tracks if there's any. We did see some bear tracks on our horse ride the other day. And this trail was pretty much a stream the other day, so. Hello. See, there's a little pathway there. <laughs> Makes you wonder. But yeah, it definitely cools down around here. And it's a little step down there, Allie. Yeah. If you use your um, post. You got it? Three point nine miles to the Mount Callan shelter, and then there's the Double Spring Gap shelter. Two point six miles this way. What do you think? Hmm. Two point six. Let's miles. check this way a little bit. We don't have to go the whole way. Toward the Mount Collins shelter. I think it's nice to hike these little paths that are along the main trail. It just takes so long to get up here to Klingman's Dome that it's a little bit difficult to find time to really hike these side trails. But it really is beautiful.
Got to make a little noise when you're on the trail because I heard, for the most part, if you encounter a bear, it will kind of try to get away from you if it hears you coming. But I heard it's a problem if you sneak up on a bear. So it's November 1st right now, 2021. I tried to bring my dog here, but they won't let you bring your dog. Because I like to take them on hikes too. Allie's got the bear horn. carry a buck knife when I'm out here. Just in case. Not like it would do much probably, but it makes me feel a little more comfortable. This way is a little bit overgrown. Ooh, there's this sort of squirrel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to start throwing nuts at us. Digging around on that tree, running the branches. Just very interesting foliage up here. See this area is very unique. Looks like this trail is mostly downhill. What do you think, Allie? Watch your step, there's a lot of Very quiet. Somebody just told me. Yes, there is. Hmm. 
Are you going down here, Allie, or? Yeah. Are you recording? Or did you turn it off? Oh. Hello. Did you guys come all the way from Mount Collins over there? Uh, yeah, I think so. We came. So there from... was a shelter. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go to it, but I think there is one there. Little ways. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You guys see any bears? No. Good. That's, that's a good thing. really interesting the plants it's just very mm, shaded in here Beautiful trail, though. Just keeps going downhill, which makes sense because <clears throat> we started at Klingman's Dome, which I believe is the highest point in the Smokies. A lot of great hiding places for animals up here. <clears throat> it's actually a really beautiful forest. trails are so interesting to me. <laughs> Hopefully you find them interesting as well. Temperature is perfect down here for hiking. I mean, this is actually, I think, as much of an attraction up here as the view from Klingman's Dome, really. Just to see what a forest is like out here.
really covered in moss. Now he's following me. turns into a bit of a stream here. You can see the terrain is just covered in moss. It's a little slippery. Probably better to stay on the trail. Pretty good. A little creek down here. You can see the trail just goes that way. And I'm sure it stays very interesting, but we should probably head back up that hill. Maybe make it, don't you think we should head back up? You want to keep going? I do. I, you know, there is another trail off that way, too. Yeah, okay. You like this trail, huh? I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's very interesting. <laughs> A lot of fallen trees at the bottom of the forest, so... three-leaf clovers. I wonder if that's that buffalo clover. I think at the Poconos they were saying the buffalo clover was a protected species. I wonder there could be a botanist watching <laughs> who could probably identify some of these plants. found a tree stump up there. It's very beautiful. The thing to remember is when you go down the trail, you're gonna have to come back up. But it's, it's definitely beautiful out here. And it's gotten very quiet.
Ja. Well, put your fingers in your pocket, baby. Yeah. You want me to wait? It's just like a very unique ecosystem. Okay, well, so this is one of the trails off to this side of Klingman's Dome, a very unique ecosystem in this cooler area up at the top of the mountain. So it's really pretty wonderful. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe to the channel. You've seen a lot today if you watch this whole video. Um, so give us a comment down below and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends if you're into seeing hiking and nature when I'm on vacation and antiques when I'm not. All right, we'll see you next time.